In an earlier lesson, we saw that we could delete a row or a list of rows by specifying them as an argument to the drop method. Similarly, an individual column or list of columns could be deleted by specifying the axis equals columns argument. In this lesson, we'll extend the drop method by specifying a range of column or rows. Let's start by reloading the school's data frame and displaying its first few lines. I have specified that the school ID column should be used as the label index. We can use loc to slice a range of rows using the label index for those rows. In this case, the label index is composed of integers rather than strings, so that's why they're not in quotation marks here. However, in this situation, I don't actually want the rows themselves. I want the indices of the rows, and you may recall that the index attribute will provide this. First, we print all of the indices, which we see here. Then we print the indices of only the slice, and we see that here. If we pass in the indices of that slice into the drop method, then we can drop only the range, which has a label index from 375 through 460, which would be these three rows right here. Let's try it and see what happens. Now the results go from school 496 to 110, omitting the rows 375 through 460. Deleting a range of columns works similarly. The dot columns attribute tells me what columns are present in the data frame, and I can use loc to slice those columns, but recall I need to use this colon with nothing in front or after it to indicate that I want all rows of that column. So here are all of the columns, and here are the columns just from pre-K three years to grade 12. If I pass the column labels of that slice into loc and specify that I'm using the columns axis, then I can remove all of the columns for the various grades in the school. So in the resulting data frame, it goes from zip code, skips over the different grade levels, and goes straight to the various ethnic groups in the table.